Memories are assumed to be represented in the brain by sets of neurons that fire together to form functional groups referred to as cell assemblies. This suggests that recalling the memory of a past event requires one to retrieve, or, as we shall call it, to reinstate those cell assemblies that were formed during the initial experience. In order for such memory representing cell assemblies to survive, and so to enable memories to be recalled, these assemblies need to be stabilized or consolidated. This process of stabilization is thought to depend on the reactivation of these assemblies during offline behavioral periods such as sleep or rest. To test whether the offline reactivation of newly formed cell assemblies is indeed important for their later reinstatement during memory retrieval, we recorded in parallel the activity of up to 100 neurons from the hippocampus of mice exploring various spatial environments. On these recordings we applied a statistical framework based on independent component analysis which allowed us to find groups of neurons that tended to be active together quantified in the form of what we call cell assembly patterns. We found that these cell assembly patterns formed internal representations of space as each pattern detected was only active in a particular environment and only when the animal visited specific locations within that environment with different patterns representing different locations. During the sleep following the first exploration of a new environment we found that the cell assembly patterns representing that environment were reactivated during short-lived high-frequency oscillatory events called sharp wave ripples. Importantly, we found that the strength with which these patterns were reactivated when the animals slept correlated with how well they were going to be reinstated when the animal was later put back into the same environment. Then. In order to also causally test the relation between sleep reactivation and later awake reinstatement, we selectively disrupted reactivation using an optogenetic approach. During sharp wave ripples, hippocampal principal neurons were temporarily silenced by shining light on them. We found that silencing reactivation in this way impaired the later reinstatement of newly formed assembly patterns. But, importantly, it did not impair the reinstatement of assembly patterns representing an already familiar environment. Our study demonstrates that the persistence of recently formed space-representing hippocampal cell assemblies depends on their offline reactivation during sharp wave ripple events.